Planet Vegeta, a Saiyan named Bardock, had taken a decision to send his newborn son named Kakarot to a faraway planet because Bardock could feel how inside his son Kakarot was born a power never seen before and Bardock had dreams and visions about his son. He knew that he was destined to be one of the strongest warriors of the multiverse and also so he could be safe from the evil Emperor Frieza. Bardock, I don't agree with you sending Kakarot to another planet far away if he hasn't even learned to speak. I know, but with the abilities of Kakarot is showing, he's doomed to be sent to far away. Jine, with some sadness, would accept to send her son away. Hours later at nightfall, Bardock would program the ship so that it would start heading towards planet Earth. Meanwhile, in another planet, well, well, I think it's about time to destroy this beautiful and wonderful planet with all those filthy apes. The evil Emperor Freezer would charge and launch his power sphere against the planet, Vegeta, so that it would be completely destroyed with all the Saiyans. Ha ha ha, come see this Zarbon soldiers, Dodoria soldier, what a beautiful fireworks. However, Kakarot, who was in the Saiyan ship, had managed to escape from that strong explosion. Meanwhile, in the palace of the king of everything, Xenosama was watching the development of all the universes, but there was something that had caught his attention, and that was the spaceship in which Kakuro was traveling. Daishinkan, I need your help, please. How can I help you, my lord? I've seen that in the seventh universe, through space, there's a small ship leaving for somewhere. Please bring me that ship. I want to know what is inside. Understood, my lord. I will bring it to you right now. The high priest would create a portal to the multiverse 7, thus entering, managing to stop the spaceship with one hand. The angel would be surprised to see a baby crying inside the device. Well, well, but if it's a baby, I can't leave you here lying in the middle of nowhere, so I'll take you to my lord, since he asked me to take you to him. The high priest would take the spaceship back through the portal to Xenosama's palace. Ready? Here you have my lord, what you asked for. Thank you very much, Daishinkan-sama. Could you open it? I would kindly ask the king of everything who is excited. Of course, Xenosama. Daishinkan would answer with a smile. The angel with his priestly powers would have opened the ship where Kakarot would come out. Well, what a surprise if it isn't a baby with a tail. The king of everything would begin to carry the Saiyan playing with him. My lord, I noticed that there is nothing inside the ship, not even something to know what this child's name is. In that case, we'll have to name him ourselves. I know, we'll call him Goku. No doubt, Goku will be the perfect name for this baby. Daishikan sensed something strange inside Goku's body. Allow me, my lord. Daishinkan would take baby Goku in his arms, feeling the power of Ultra Instinct being born inside him. Daishinkan would say, My lord, don't you think it would be better to train this child when he's older? From what I see, he can reach a power similar or superior to that of the gods. He's an interesting child. Yes, when Goku grows up, you will train him, since I want him to become an extremely powerful and imperious being. Besides, we have to be prepared for the dangers of the multiverse that are approaching. All right, as you say, my lord. The years would pass in which Daishin Kansama would train Goku in an amazing way, achieving this, at his young age, the first phase of the Super Saiyan. Great, I see that you have achieved a new power. Yes, although I didn't expect that I would get a hidden transformation. Wow, well done Goku, keep it up. You may soon become unstoppable. Of course, Zemo-sama. The time would continue to pass where Goku Child had already mastered the transformations of the Super Saiyan from the first to the third. Great, Goku, but you still have a long way to go to overcome your limits. What do you mean, Daishikan-sama? I mean that you can still acquire two divine transformations and the Ultra Instinct that is within you, a state of mind that no god has ever mastered. Oh, wow! I can't wait to get stronger! Fifteen years later, in all this time, Goku had undergone hard training where he achieved Super Saiyan God Phase, Super Saiyan God Phase 2, and mastered the full Ultra Instinct. Wow, I'm proud of you, son Goku. You have progressed a lot over time. It seems like yesterday when we met you as a tender baby. Good, I see that you have improved a lot, Goku. Thank you very much, Daishinkan-sama and Xeno-sama. Thanks to you, I have become very powerful. I have obtained powers that have turned me into an amazing being. Remember that you still need to master the complete Ultra Instinct, but I think you'll get it soon. Hey, can I go and see how the development process of the other universes is going? I want to know if the Gods of Destruction are doing their job well. Goku would be very eager to know all the universes. Sure, no problem. That would make my job easier. I would give the King of Everything to Goku in a friendly way. 
Goku, with his divine powers, would have created a portal connecting to Universe 7, thus reaching a planet called Earth, which was being attacked by a squadron. Hey stupid, what are you doing to this planet? We are conquering it by orders of our lord, the Great Freezer, and now you will be eliminated for provoking us. The soldier had launched an attack at the Saiyan, but Goku would have dodged it with ease, leaving the soldiers surprised. What's wrong? Is that all? Damn you! Now you will feel the real terror! All the soldiers would throw themselves against Goku, but he would have exterminated them with a powerful attack and there would have been a great explosion in the place. No doubt they deserved it, animals. At that moment, the evil emperor came out of the ship with his soldiers, Zarbon and Dordoria. Well, I see that you must be Freezer, right? The demon of cold, to see well to Goku, would realize that this is a Saiyan. I can't be. That guy is a Saiyan. Besides, he's identical to the Saiyan that challenged me before I destroyed the planet Vegeta. I thought I'd finish with all those apes when I destroyed the planet. Well, in that case, Soldier Zarbon and Dordoria finish with that damn Saiyan. As you command, Mr. Freezer. Zarbon and Dordoria were about to attack Goku, but he had given them both a strong blow in one swift move, knocking them both out of combat. Damn insect, don't make fun of me. Freezer, very angry, would try to give a blow to Goku, but this would have stopped it very easily with one hand. Damn it, how's it possible he could have stopped my punch with such ease? Goku would have punched the tyrant in the stomach, making him spit out a lot of blood. I thought you were a worthy opponent, but you're just a damn weakling who's no use to me even as a warm-up. The evil emperor would be very angry, so he decides to unleash all his monstrous power, going through all his transformations until he reaches the last one. This is my true appearance. I hope you prepare yourself, because I will not be as kind as before. Freezer would throw himself against Goku, trying to give him a blow, but he would be dodging all of them without any problem, putting the tyrant in trouble. The very angry Saiyan would give Freezer a series of blows all over his body, leaving him lying on the floor with many wounds. This can't be. It can't be that a mortal like you is humiliating the great Freezer. You're just a good for nothing. At that moment, the cold demon would have launched an attack on the Saiyan, to which this would counterattack with a super attack, where it would be Goku who would win the clash of powers, having a strong explosion, completely pulverizing Freezer. As a note, this universe has to improve a lot. Quickly, Goku would create another portal that connected with the planet Sadala of Universe 6. So, this entering, the Saiyan would see again how the whole planet would be attacked by an extremely terrified being, who would be giving a beating to two Saiyan women. Kale's sister, please run away, at least you can save yourself. No sister, I won't leave you alone. That's what you get for trying to be heroines. There's no one who can fight me. Kamba, you're a bastard. Sooner or later, someone will give you what you deserve. Kamba would take the Saiyans by the neck. Sister, resist. The other Saiyan was about to unleash a hidden power, but at that moment, Goku had given a strong kick to Kamba, who would send him against a mountain. Thank you very much for saving me. No problem. Now find a safe place. I'll take care of that wretch. Kamba would come out of the stones quite furious, looking at the Saiyan with a murderous look. I won't forgive you for kicking me. I swear, I will destroy you with my own hands. Well, try if you dare. Kamba would throw himself against Goku, trying to give him a blow, but he would be dodging them very easily, putting the evil Saiyan in trouble. Goku had given him a strong blow in the stomach, plus another blow in the face that would send him to the ground. What's wrong? You said you would destroy me with your bare hands. And that's what I'm gonna do. Damn you. Kamba would release more power, making the planet Sadala shake completely where he would charge and launch his best attack, although Goku would not be left behind. He would also counterattack with his best attack, having an amazing clash of powers. But Goku would release more power, reaching the perfect Ultra Instinct, where little by little, he would be having much advantage in the duel. The Saiyan would hit a loud scream of rage, raising his power even more, thus managing to win the clash of powers having a strong explosion in the area, being exterminated combat. The two Saiyan would be very surprised to see Goku with the perfect Ultra Instinct to which they thank him for helping them and saving their planet. No problem, girls. I like to help others who need help. Hey, I would like to reach that power you have. Please train us. Well, I don't know since I'm not very good at training someone, but I'll see what I could do. Here, if you need help, just press the blue button to call me. Hey, but will you train us? Well, but it would be another time since I'm very busy right now. But don't worry, when I'm done with my business, I'll be happy to train you, even if it costs me. At that, the Saiyan would give Goku a big kiss on the cheek, being very surprised at what the girl had done. Nice to meet you, my name is Khalifla, and this is my sister Kale. 
Nice to meet you. My name is Goku. Well, we will meet again. Goku would create another portal going to another universe, being the Saiyans very surprised at what they just saw. Well, this is Multiverse 11. Let's see what kind of insects I can find here. Goku would have arrived to Universe 11 through the portal he had previously created. Perfect, I have arrived to Universe 11. I hope that here everything goes in order, not like in the previous universes. The Saiyan began to explore the whole place until he reached a city where he noticed that it would. That it was totally quiet. Wow, it seems that in this universe things are going pretty well. Goku would continue exploring the planet until he reached a forbidden area. Hey you! Who are you? You can't be here! You go back to where you came from because if you don't, I'm gonna rip you to shreds! I don't care if you're a fan of the Pride Troopers. As you can see, this universe has to improve too. What did you say? Damn you! This time you'll pay for this! Nobody makes fun of Topo, the leader of the Pride Troopers! I don't give a shit who you are. I'm just telling you that you provoked the wrong guy. The Warrior of Justice would throw an attack at the Saiyan, but he had dodged it very easily. Damn, that was pure luck. Now you'll know what's good. Topo would throw himself at Goku, trying to hit him, but he would dodge them without any problem. What's wrong? That's all a warrior of justice has? What a disappointment. Topo would raise his power even higher, making the whole place tremble, launching his best attack at Goku. But Goku would not stay behind. He would counter with his best attack, where it would be the Saiyan who would win the duel, having a strong explosion in the area. When the smoke dissolved, Topo would be out of combat. No doubt you brought this on yourself. If you had treated me with respect, this wouldn't have happened. You damned wretch! I want you to know that I've kept your face. My other teammates and I will take revenge with this. I don't care how many of you there are. I will defeat them all. At that moment, someone had suddenly hit the Saiyan in the face with a powerful punch, sending him into a mountain. Thank you so much for coming to help me, Jiren. I really needed you. No problem. I'll be the one to take care of this guy. As you say, brother, he's all yours, that bastard. Goku, very angry, came out of the stones looking at Jiren with a very serious look. <sighs> that hit you gave me wasn't bad, but now you made me very angry. You shouldn't have challenged me. Goku, very angry, would try to give a blow to the Warrior of Justice, although he would be blocking them with some difficulty. In that moment, Goku had given a powerful blow to Jiren in the stomach, although this would have returned it in his face. Both would charge their best attacks, having a strong explosion in the area, generating a great smoke curtain. Goku would appear behind his opponent, trying to land some blows, but Jiren would be dodging them with some trouble. Then, seeing that the Saiyan had lowered his guard a little, he had given him a powerful blow in the stomach, although Goku had hit him in the face, sending him against some stone. Come on, Jiren! I know you can beat that damn Cretan! Jiren would come out of the rocks very furious, throwing several blasts of power to the Saiyan, but he dodged them very easily, leaving Jiren surprised. Goku had given a powerful blow to the face of the Warrior of Justice, plus a powerful attack that would send him against the ground, having a strong explosion and creating a large crater, leaving Jiren somewhat hurt. And here I thought you were a really strong guy, but turns out you're just a poor useless guy. Jiren, brother, don't give up. Unleash all your power and show that wretch who's in charge here. Yeah, you're right, Topo. That's what I'm gonna do. Jiren would begin to unleash all of his monstrous power, making the whole planet tremble uncontrollably where he had brought his power to 100%. I see you've been hiding more power from what I've been seeing. I hope this time you can do some fighting for me too. Uh, this time I swear I'll destroy you. In that moment, Jiren, at a great speed, had given a strong blow to Goku, plus another blow in the stomach that would send him against the ground, causing a large crater. From among the stones, Goku would come out very angry with some scratches. Damn, that really hurt me. <laughs> but I have even more power. Goku would release the power of Ultra Instinct, making the whole place shake in a surprising way, managing to pass to the perfect form of that state of mind. Both warriors would throw themselves against each other, having a fantastic and epic exchange of blows that seemed to be very evenly matched. Goku would have given a strong blow to Jiren, but Jiren would have given it back to him as well. The two would begin to charge their best attacks, thus throwing them into an amazing clash of powers that seemed to be evenly matched. Come on, Jiren, you can do it! Give up, you miserable bastard! I will never give up! 
the one who will lose is you! Both Jiren and Goku would release more of their powers, having a great explosion, in that Jiren, very furious, had given a strong punch to Goku in the stomach, making him spit a lot of blood. Goku had returned it in his face, managing to knock out some of Jiren's teeth. Damn! You knocked out some of my teeth! Now you have made me angry too! Jiren would try to land some strong blows to the Saiyan, but he would be blocking absolutely all of them. But Jiren managed to give a blow to Goku that would send him to the ground. <laughs> well done, Jiren. Now finish that wretch. Pathetic. That's what you get for messing with us. That's all? What did you say? I asked you if that's all. You miserable bastard. Don't make fun of me. Jiren, very angry, would throw himself against Goku, but Goku would unleash the power of the Ultra Instinct, giving him a rain of blows all over his body without him being able to do anything to defend himself. Ah, oh, damn! That wretch has unleashed more power! Jiren, resist! Jiren launched a powerful attack at the Saiyan, but the Saiyan deflected it with one hand, leaving Jiren surprised. Goku would charge and launch a powerful attack against his opponent, having a strong explosion in that place. When the smoke dissolved, Jiren would be out of combat. Damn it! Brother Jiren! What are you waiting for? Eliminate me, go ahead! I'm ready for what's next. I won't do it! What? I don't understand! You have been the only warrior who has managed to give me a good fight. That's why I won't eliminate you. Or your partner. Besides, you don't have a dark heart like the other guys I faith. That's another reason why I won't eliminate you. The Saiyan had given some of his energy to Jiren and Topo so that they could at least stand up. Thank you very much for not finishing us off. I promise you that I will continue training very hard so that our next fight will be better than the last one. Same here. I will also continue training because I know that I can still overcome my limits. Well, I think it's time for me to go. We'll see each other again soon. You have my respect, son Goku. Same here, Jiren. The Saiyan creates a portal and arrives at Xenosama's palace. I see you've been having a lot of fun, Goku. Yeah, I have also decided that universes 7 and 6 have to improve. I don't know how the gods of destruction of those universes don't do anything to improve. Well, according to what I've been told, the angels say that the god of destruction of the 7th universe spends a lot of time sleeping, and Champa, the god of destruction in the 6th universe, spends all day eating instead of doing his chores. What a shame. Those two don't deserve to be gods of destruction. I've decided. Let's replace them. It's enough that those two are lazing around instead of doing their job. Hey, you wouldn't mind if I take care of them. That way I'll save you some work, Xenosama. That's fine. You can kill them so I don't have to use my super hand to wipe them out of existence. My lord, and who will be the replacement for Lord Beerus and Champa? I don't know, but we'll see later. A day later, Goku arrives to planet Sadala of Universe 6 in order to train Kale and Caulifla. The girls, upon seeing their favorite Saiyan, give him a big hug to which he would return them with a blush. It's good that you came. Finally, you will train us. Of course. I promised you that if I finished my business, I would train you. So, as I promised, here I am. Thank you very much, Mr. Goku. I want to become strong like my sister. Good. Well, let's get started, girls said the Saiyan while passing to the ultra-perfect instinct. That's how the training would start. Meanwhile, in another dimension, surprisingly, someone had awakened from his long sleep. I have finally managed to wake up. Now, I will release all my power to try to get out of here and to finish with Xenosama and Daishinkensama. Back at the palace of the king of everything. Daishinkensama, I want you to please call the gods of destruction Beerus and Champa. But my lord, wasn't it going to be Goku who was going to eliminate them? Yes, and so it will be. But for now, I want to scare those two and have a few laughs. <laughs> All right, as my lord says, right now, I will tell them to come here. The high priest with his baculum would get in contact with the angels Weiss and Vados, telling him that Xenosama wants to see his gods of destruction. Both Weiss and Vados would accept, so he would inform their gods about what happened, where they would be very scared. Meanwhile, on the planet Sadala in Universe 6, Goku was training with Kale and Caulifla. Come on, girls! You must try harder! I know you can overcome your limits! Hey, Goku, we've trained enough. Could you teach us how to achieve that transformation called Ultra Instinct? That is not a transformation, but a state of mind. The Ultra Instinct is not very easy to acquire. For that, you need a lot of training. But I can teach you how to transform into an ordinary Super Saiyan. At that, Goku would hit a loud scream of rage, managing to pass to Super Saiyan 1. 
Incredible. You look very handsome with that transformation. Kale would say with a blush. Please show us how to achieve that transformation. Okay, there is a very easy way to reach it. First, you must concentrate all your power on your back and then expel it by hitting a loud scream of rage. Okay, I'll try it. I hope it works. Cauliflower would begin to concentrate with all her power on her back, hitting a scream of rage and transforming into Super Saiyan. Great! I see you made it! <laughs> Congratulations! Yes, and all thanks to you. At that moment, Cauliflow would have given Goku a big hug, leaving Goku very blushing. Kale, seeing that, would feel some jealousy towards her sister since she felt something for the Saiyan. Kale, sister, now it's your turn to become a Super Saiyan. Cheer up, I know you can do it. Okay, I will try to transform myself. The Saiyan would begin the process by concentrating all her power on her back, hitting a loud cry of anger, but unfortunately, she would not get the transformation. Feeling very useless, she began to cry. Surprisingly, Kale had passed to the Super Saiyan Legendary Berserker, leaving Goku and Cauliflower surprised at the transformation. Hey Goku, what is this transformation? I, I really don't know, because I've never seen a transformation like this before. Cauliflower, get ready to die. I won't hate you for taking Son Goku's love away from me. Kale, what are you saying? The legendary Saiyan launched herself against Cauliflower, giving her a strong blow, sending her against a mountain. Stop it, Kale! Please, calm down! Kale, very angry, would continue to raise her power in an uncontrolled manner, making the entire planet Sadala tremble. The furious Saiyan would charge and launch a powerful attack against Cauliflower, but Goku had deflected it with only one hand. Goku, with a strong blow, would have left Kale unconscious, losing her transformation and falling to the ground. Are you alright, Cauliflower? Yes, but I have to admit, my sister's transformation is very scary. I've never seen a transformation like that before. Meanwhile, in the unknown dimension, there was an extremely powerful being that had awakened and was about to come out. Meanwhile, in the unknown dimension, there was an extremely powerful being that had awakened. Huh, I have finally managed to wake up. Now I have to figure out how to get out of this damn place. The unknown being, very angry, began to raise all his power in a devastating way, hitting a loud cry of anger and opening a portal that allowed him to leave that dimension. Perfect, I have succeeded. <laughs> Soon I will get revenge on all of you, but more of Daishinken and Xenosama. At the king's palace, Daishinken would have felt the presence of that enemy that would have come out of that dimension. What is it, Daishinken? You look strange. My lord, we are in big trouble. What's wrong? Yamoshi has managed to get out of that dimension we locked him in a long time ago. It can't be. That, that bastard has managed to get out? Damn it. My powers to erase from existence are useless against that evil born. At that moment, a big explosion would have originated outside the palace of the King of All. That was Yamoshi. Daishin Kinsama, together with the guards, would go outside where they would be surprised to see the tyrant. Huh. Hello, High Priest. Long time no see. Ha 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 ha. Damn, how is it possible that you managed to get out of that dimension? I see that you have forgotten that I have a devastating power. Thanks to that, I managed to free myself. And now, I will be in charge of tearing you and Xenosama to pieces. I won't allow it. If you want Xenosama, you will have to finish me and the Guardians first. <laughs> okay, no problem. Besides, I just told you that I will destroy you too. The Great Priest and the Guardians would get into a fighting pose. Then Yamoshi would throw himself against the Angel and the others, having an amazing exchange of blows that would make the whole place tremble. Daishin Kinsama would have given a blow to the Tyrant, but this one would have returned it without any problem sending him against some pillars. The Guardians would try to connect some blows to Yamoshi, but this one with a strong blow to each one, plus a super attack, would have left them out of combat. Damn you! I will never forgive you for this! I swear you will pay for this! The Great Priest would charge and launch a powerful attack against Yamoshi, having a strong explosion in the place. When the smoke dissolved, it would come out without any scratches. That's all? I thought you had become quite strong, Daishinken. But I see you are still the same trash. Meanwhile, on planet Sadala in Universe 6, Goku would be serious as he would have felt the power of Yamoshi and Daishinken-sama. Hey Goku, are you okay? Yes, I... I just have to go. They need my help. Sorry for leaving in the middle of training, but it's really urgent. Don't worry, don't worry. I hope you come back. 
Goku would create a portal that connected with the palace of the King of Everything. Upon entering, the Saiyan would be really surprised to see the whole place destroyed, the Guardians defeated, and the Great Priest badly wounded lying on the ground. Daishinkin, what happened? Goku, I'm glad to see you. But you should leave because that bastard could come back at any moment. What? What do you mean? And where is Zeno-sama? Here's your king of everything. <laughs> Goku would turn around and see Yamoshi holding Zeno-sama, who would be brutally beaten. Oh, damn you! I swear I won't forgive you for hurting my loved ones! I don't know who you are, but you're doomed to die anyway. Before we start fighting, tell me who the hell you are! Okay, I'll tell you. My name is Yamoshi, and I was created a long time ago by Ometsama. What? Ometsama? Ometsama was the older brother of Zeno-sama. He was also the king of everything, but he couldn't stand the stupid things that his younger brother did. So he decided to free himself from him by convincing all the universes, but not all the universes agreed. Universes 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 were the ones that did agree before the great battle began. Ometsama had another plan, and it was to create an extremely powerful being that is impossible to erase from existence. That being is me, and now you're going to be exterminated by me! <laughs> Goku Ultra Instinct, very angry, would throw himself against Yamoshi, trying to give him a blow, but he would be dodging them without any problem, putting the Saiyan in trouble. What's wrong? Is that all you got? Yamoshi, very angry, would have given a powerful blow to Goku in the stomach, making him spit a lot of blood, plus an attack that would send him flying against some stones. Damn you! You will pay dearly for all of the evil you have done! The Great Priest, very angry, would throw himself against the Tyrant, trying to give a blow, but he would be dodging them very easily. Apparently, the trash will always remain trash. Yamoshi would have given a series of punches to the angel that would have left him totally hurt on the ground without him being able to move. Damn you! I swear you'll pay for this! Goku would have launched a powerful attack to Yamoshi, but this one would have easily deflected it, leaving the Saiyan very surprised at what he saw. It can't be! This has to be a damn joke! Yamoshi had given Goku a series of punches and a powerful attack that would send him into the rubble. <laughs> Sorry to tell you this, but it's time for you to die! Yamoshi would charge and launch a powerful attack to finish off Goku, but at that moment, someone would have deflected the attack, which was Kale and Caulifla. <sighs> hey, what are you guys doing here? And how did you get here? Well, the thing you gave me had another button, and pressing it brought us here. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. But you should leave anyway, that guy is very powerful. Goku, I'm sorry about last time. I really couldn't control myself. It's okay, Kale. Don't worry. I forgive you. Well, well. I see you asked for help. Caulifla, very angry, would transform into a Super Saiyan, rushing at the tyrant trying to hit him, but he would be dodging them without any problem. Yamoshi would have given a strong blow to Caulifla in the stomach, plus another blow in the face that would send her to the ground, causing a big crater. Goku, very furious, would throw himself against Yamoshi again, but it would be useless. Kale, seeing that she could not do anything, would start to cry like last time, making the whole place shake where she would pass to the legendary Super Saiyan Berserker mode. Oh wow, that girl has managed to transform into a monster, but that won't be enough to defeat me! Kale, very angry, would rush against Yamoshi, trying to give him some blows, but he would be blocking them easily. This, at a great speed, had given several strong blows to the girl, managing to send her against some pillars. I said it before, there is no one who can stop me! Goku would activate the perfect Ultra Instinct, where he would make a last effort by throwing himself against the Tyrant, trying to hit him, but it would be useless. Huh, <laughs> even if you use that power, you won't be able to defeat me. Yamoshi would have given a strong blow to Goku that would send him to the ground where, unfortunately, he would have lost the Ultra Instinct state of mind. Goku, are you alright? Yeah, those ones really hurt me. Kale, very angry, would throw himself against the deity, but this one would have launched an attack to the Saiyan, having a strong explosion where she would be out of combat, losing her transformation and falling next to the others. That bastard is very strong. There is nothing we can do. I wish I could say I was sorry, but I have more important business to do. 
Yumoshi would have launched a powerful attack on Goku and the girls, and there was a strong explosion in the place. When the smoke dissolved, there was no trace of the three Saiyans. How strange. Those three have disappeared. I don't think my attack pulverized them since I didn't use much power. Anyway, those scum will never be a match for me. <laughs> well, Daishin Kinsama, it's time to settle the score. Then, I will make Zeno Sama suffer more since I will kill him too. Damn you! You won't get away with this! Meanwhile, in Universe 6... Goku, please wake up! Wake up! Please don't die! I love you! Sometime later, Yamoshi had mercilessly killed almost all the Gods of Destruction together with his Angels and Kaioshin. I have killed almost all the Gods of Destruction, although I only have three left, which are Beerus, Champa, and Vermouth, Sama. <laughs> there will be no one who can stop me. Now I have to get rid of the last gods that I have left. No doubt it will be fun to make them suffer. <laughs> Thus Yamoshi would head with great speed to the Undecimo Universe. Meanwhile, in the planet Sadala of the Universe 6, Khalifla and Kale would be somewhat worried since Goku would be seriously wounded, unconscious with several wounds. Sister, we can't be here. We have to take Goku to a place where he can recover. You're right, Kale. We are going to my brother Renzo's house. Maybe he can help us. The two girls would carry Goku, thus taking him to Saiyan Renzo's house. Meanwhile, in Universe 11, Jiren and Topo had arrived at the Castle of the God of Destruction, Vermouth. Both warriors would notice how the castle was totally destroyed, to which they would get into a fighting pose. But what happened here? Why is everything destroyed? Vermouth, Margarita, are you there? From the shadows, Yamoshi came out with the head of the Destroyer God in his hands, leaving Jiren and Topu very surprised and shocked. Damn you! Who the hell are you? And how dare you kill my Lord Vermouth? By the way, where is Margarita? Ha 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 ha! I don't think that angel will appear anymore, since I have pulverized her with my power. You should have seen her sad face while she was begging for her life. Damn you! I swear I will never forgive you for this! I won't let evil get away with this! That's fine. If what you want to do is die, of course I'll grant you that wish! Topo would have launched a powerful attack at the tyrant, and then the tyrant would have deflected it with one hand. Yamoshi would throw himself against the Warriors of Justice, where the three would be having an exchange of blows that little by little would be the tyrant who would be taking much advantage. Yamoshi, with a powerful blow, would send Topo against some debris to which Jiren would have launched an attack, having a strong explosion in the place, generating a smoke vent. No doubt you deserved it, you damn scoundrel! I hope that attack left you badly hurt! The smoke would slowly dissolve where Yamoshi would come out without any scratches, leaving Jiren very surprised. Did you really think that with that simple attack you could hurt me? How disappointing for you! You bastard! Don't make fun of me! Jiren would keep throwing powerful attacks at Yamoshi, but it would be useless since he couldn't do any damage to the deity. Admit it, you're weak and you know it! At that moment, Yamoshi would have given a powerful blow to Jiren in the face that would send him against the Vermouth Castle, where unfortunately Jiren had received a lot of damage. Damn, that bastard is so strong! What's wrong? Are you tired already? Damn, let's see if you like this! Topo would try to give Yamoshi a strong punch, but Yamoshi had stopped him very easily, leaving the Warrior of Justice very surprised. Uh, garbage will remain garbage. Yamoshi would charge and launch a powerful attack against Topu, and there would be a strong explosion where Topu would be knocked out. Damn you! I swear I'll never forgive you for this! Jiren would unleash all his monstrous power and release his reddish aura. Returning to the planet Sadala of Universe 6, Caulifla and Kale, together with an unconscious Goku, had arrived at Renzo's house. Sister, long time no see, but what happened to you and Kale? And who is this guy? Renzo, there is no time to explain. Please help us so that Goku recovers. The two girls put the unconscious Saiyan on a bed while Renzo was looking for the emergency kit. Girls, here is the emergency kit. Caulifla, with great speed, would have taken it from him, so he and Kale would begin to treat Goku's wounds. A short time later... Hey, Caulifla, now tell me who is that guy, and how did he get so hurt? Well, what happened was that another extremely powerful guy gave us a brutal beating without us being able to defend ourselves well. I have told you a thousand times not to challenge Kemba. That guy is worse than a demon. 
No, it wasn't Kamba. Besides, that wretch was already defeated by Goku a little while ago. The one who did this to us was another guy that I don't know who the hell he is. And this Goku guy? He's strong? Yeah, besides, he is a Saiyan like us, since he taught me to achieve a transformation. Cauliflow would transform into a Super Saiyan. Renzo was very surprised by the transformation of his sister. Incredible! I didn't know that our race had transformations. Meanwhile, in Universe 11, Yamoshi with a strong blow would send Jiren against some debris, leaving him seriously injured and unable to move. I must admit that you have fought well, but that will not save you from me. Sooner or later, there will be someone who will give you your merit, and that someone is Son Goku. Son Goku? You mean that guy who was wearing the High Priest's outfit? Ha ha ha! I'm sorry to tell you, but I already beat that guy. Although, of course, he managed to escape somehow when I was about to pulverize him. Thanks for making me remember that bastard. Right now, I'll track him down and finish him off once and for all. You miserable bastard! You won't get away with this! I think I already did! <laughs> now die! Yamoshi, with a powerful attack, would have mercilessly exterminated Jiren, turning him to dust. Perfect. Only universes 6 and 7 are left. I think I'll go for Beerus, since his fat brother is an easy target. Returning to planet Sadala of universe 6, several hours had already passed where everyone would be sleeping, but surprisingly, Goku would have awakened. Looking around, seeing how Caulifla, Kale, and Renzo were sleeping, the Saiyan would get out of bed. Goku would remember the brutal beating that Yamoshi had given him, where he would be very sad for not having protected Daishinkin and Xenosama. Goku would say in his mind, Forgive me, Xenosama, and Daishinkin. I couldn't do anything to stop that monster, yet I'm the only one who can stop him. Hi, nice to meet you. Uh, wow, uh, hi, nice to meet you, but who are you? My name is Renzo, and I'm Caulifla's older brother. They brought you here since we consider it a safe place. Uh, thank you very much for seeing me healed. To tell you the truth, I have recovered a little bit, but I hope I can recover quickly. Hey, can I ask you a question? Sure, what's up? Kale and Caulifla care a lot about you, because I think they're both in love with you, and I wanted to know if you have feelings for them. Well, the truth is that I think so, but I haven't told either of them because I don't want them to feel uncomfortable. I understand, but... I just ask you try not to play with them. <laughs> Don't worry, Renzo. By the way, if you're Caulifla's brother, that means you know how to fight too, right? Well, I retired from the armed forces of Sadala some years ago. Although, now there are younger guys there, and I remember that they were my apprentices since I taught them how to fight. They were called Kaba and Volter. Lovely guys! Well, I'm gonna go to bed since I'm getting sleepy again. <laughs> Sleep well, Renzo. So Renzo would go to sleep while Goku had opened a portal that took him straight to the planet of the god Champa. Oh boy, if it isn't Son Goku, what can I do for you? Hello, Son Goku. What happened to you? Why are you hurt? Vados with her baculum had healed the Saiyan so he recovered instantly. Listen, Yamoshi is alive. He's already finished with the High Priest and Xenosama. We need to do something to stop him. Yamoshi? The indelible being that Ometsama created to defeat us? I'd say Champa's scared! Vados, listen. We have to do something. We have to warn the other universes because that guy is very powerful. Not even I was a match for him. All right, I'll warn the other universes. Vados with her baculum would try to warn all the other universes, but unfortunately, none of them would respond. This is very strange. Nobody's responding to my baculum. Demons! Surely that wretched Yamoshi has something to do with it! Damn it! We're lost! If that guy eliminated the others, that means we'll be next! Shut up! Can't you see I'm thinking? Meanwhile, in Universe 7, Yamoshi would have exterminated the Angel Whis with his power, leaving Beerus badly wounded on the ground. 
You don't know how much I enjoy this moment, now that I have finished with all the gods of destruction and angels. Well, I only have your brother Champa left. You are miserable. Sooner or later, you will pay dearly, you bastard! Yamoshi, very angry, would have launched a powerful attack on Beerus without any mercy, where he would end the life of Beerus. Returning to Planet Sadala of Universe 6, it would have already dawned where Kale and Kalivla would be somewhat worried not to see Goku in bed. Sister, where is Goku? I don't know, Kale. Maybe he went for a walk. Maybe you're right. And Renzo? He must have gone fishing at Lake Morgan. He always goes fishing in the morning. Hey, sister, I wanted to talk to you about something. What is it? Well, you know I'm not very good at relationship stuff, but I like Goku. Kale, to tell you the truth, I also like Goku. A lot but I don't know what to do, since it would be weird for both of us to be with him at the same time. Yeah, you're right. At that moment, a portal would open abruptly. Yamoshi would come out of it looking at the two Saiyans with a psychopathic murderous look. Damn, that guy found us. <laughs> it wasn't hard at all. By the way, where is son Goku? Cauliflow, very angry, gave a loud scream of rage, transforming into Super Saiyan. Because of this, Goku would realize and create another portal, arriving quickly to the planet Sadala. Kale and Cauliflow would be very excited to see Goku. Quick, Cauliflow, Kale, take cover. I will face Yamoshi. All right, Goku, but please be careful. Goku, please don't give up. <laughs> well, we finally meet again. Damn you. I swear you will pay for all the evil you have done! I will avenge all the gods of destruction and the angels you murdered in cold blood! At that, Goku would activate the perfect Ultra Instinct, seeing Yamoshi with a defiant face. It doesn't matter if you use that power again! You will be defeated! Although this time, I will try to make sure you're dead! Hey girls, listen carefully. In case of emergency, in case Goku needs help, have these. They are Potter clays. And what is this for? Very simple. Each of you will place one in your ear, and it will work to fuse you into a perfect warrior, stronger than both of you. Goku and Yamoshi would go on the attack against each other, having an amazing exchange of blows that would make the whole place shake in a surprising way. Goku would have delivered a powerful punch to the tyrant's face, although the tyrant had returned it without any difficulty. Both would charge and launch their best attacks, having a strong explosion in the place. In that moment, Yamoshi would appear behind the Saiyan, giving him a rain of blows, but Goku would be dodging them with some problems. Yamoshi managed to connect a strong blow against Goku, sending him against a mountain. <laughs> I told you! There's nothing you can do against me! The deity would charge and launch a powerful attack, but the Saiyan would have dodged it. Damn it! I have to do something! I can't let this monster defeat me again! Meanwhile, in the palace of Zeno-sama, Daishinkin, on the verge of death, would say to himself, Calm down, Mr. Goku. I'm still alive. Soon, I'll be there with you to help you defeat that cursed Yamoshi! Returning to the place of the events, Kale, sister, we have to work together. We can't stay here without doing anything. All right, as you say, sister, let's help Goku. Goku, Ultra Perfect Instinct, would be having an amazing exchange of blows with Yamoshi, where little by little, it would be the deity who would be having all the advantage in his favor, putting the Saiyan in serious trouble. What's going on, Goku? Is that all your power? If so, let me tell you, I'm very disappointed! <laughs> The deity would have given a strong blow to the Saiyan in the face that would send him to the ground, causing a big crater. Yamoshi, very angry, would take Goku where he would be slamming him against some rocks, putting him in serious trouble. Meanwhile, Kale and Caulifla would have taken the decision to work together. Come on, Kale. Goku needs our help. I won't just stand here and watch. Yes, you are right, sister. We have to join forces. Exactly. We have to work together. With these clays. The two Saiyan girls would put a clay in each different ear, creating a very bright glow that would attract the attention of Yamoshi and Goku. What? What the hell is that glow between those stones? Surely Kale and Kalifla had something to do with that glow. At that, a new warrior would have made her appearance. Her name was Kefla, the fusion of Kale and Kalifla. And who the hell are you? I hope you don't think of confronting me, because if you do, let me tell you that you'll regret it. My name is Kefla. I am the fusion of Kale and Caulifla. Fusion? No matter what tricks they use, nothing can stop me! Since I am the most powerful being in all the universes! 
Shefla, very angry, would throw herself against Yamoshi, trying to hit him, but he would be blocking them without any difficulty. Ha 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 ha! Those punches weren't bad, but you still can't do anything to beat me! Shut your filthy mouth! I will be the one to destroy you! Kefla, very angry, started to throw her best attacks at a deity, causing a strong explosion in the place. <laughs> no doubt you deserved it, you damned wretch! The smoke would slowly dissolve, where there would be no trace of the deity. Kefla, watch out! The Saiyan turned backwards and received a strong blow from Yamoshi that sent her against some rocks. Ha ha ha! I must admit that those attacks weren't bad, but you've still got a long way to go to match me! Ah! Uh, damn you! I swear you're gonna pay for this! Goku, Ultra Instinct, and Very Angry would be launched against Yamoshi where both would be having an amazing exchange of blows that, little by little, would be Yamoshi who would be having so much advantage. Yamoshi, using a powerful technique, would send Goku against some stones, leaving him even more hurt. Garbage! Garbage! You'll always be garbage! Understand your place! No matter how hard you try, you can't fight me! I'm sorry for you, but it's time for you to die! <laughs> the deity would charge and launch a powerful attack against the Saiyan, causing a strong explosion in the area. I don't think you could have resisted such an attack! At that moment, Kefla would come out of the stones very angry, transforming into a legendary Super Saiyan! Well, well! I see that you can continue! Perfect! That's the way I like it! You damn cockroach! I'll never forgive you for this! Now I'm really angry! Kefla Super Saiyan would throw herself against Yamoshi, trying to connect some blows, but Yamoshi would be blocking them without any difficulty putting the girls in some serious trouble. Kefla would charge and launch a number of powers against the deity, but he would have deflected them very easily, leaving the fusion very surprised. It's impossible! He deflected my attacks with only one hand! <laughs> you will never defeat me with that insignificant power! Damn you! You'll never get away with it! We'll defeat you no matter what! At that moment, Yamoshi would have given her a rain of blows, sending her against some stones, leaving her very wounded. Now you'll be the next to die! The deity was about to charge an attack to finish the fusion, but at that moment, Goku would appear! Stop! Stop, you miserable bastard! I won't let you kill her! Well, well! I see you're still alive after that attack I made on you! I'm going to keep fighting until the end, so get ready! Goku, very angry, would throw himself once again against the deity, trying to connect any blow, but Yamoshi would be dodging them very easily. I grow tired of you, Goku! It's time for you to die forever! Yamoshi would be about to charge an attack to finish with Goku, but at that moment, a portal would open where the Great Priest would come out! Wow! I see you're still alive, Daishinken-sama! But it's you, Daishinken! For a moment I thought you had died! How happy I am to know that you're still alive! Don't celebrate so fast, Goku! Because in the end, you will probably end up dead! <laughs> Damn! You didn't manage to kill me because I managed to create an energy field in time that saved me from your attack! Daishin Kinsama, with all his strength, would have launched a powerful attack to the deity, to which Yamoshi would have deflected it. The angel would throw himself against Yamoshi, trying to give him a series of blows, but the deity managed to perform a super blow against Daishinken, sending him against some stones. Goku and Kefla would take the opportunity to launch their best attacks against Yamoshi, causing a strong explosion in the place originating a great curtain of smoke. The smoke would slowly dissolve, and Yamoshi would come out angry. Damn you! I'm tired of playing with all of you! It's time to die! Yamoshi would soar into the sky where he would begin to charge his best attack. Damn it! It's the end! There's nothing we can do! Don't say that, Goku. I don't want to lose you because I have feelings for you. The truth is that I also have feelings for you, Kefla. Although I also had feelings for Kale and Caulifla. At that moment, Vados with her baculum had healed the Saiyans and his father, getting them to recover. Listen, we have to do something fast. Unfortunately, Yamoshi would have launched the attack. Goku, very furious, would get in the way, launching a powerful super attack, having an amazing clash of powers where little by little would be Yamoshi who would have the advantage. 
Listen, Vados and Kepla, let's give all our energy to Goku, so that at least he has some advantage. The High Priest, together with the girls, would have given all their energies to the Saiyan. Strange! I feel like I have more power in a second! That's normal, Goku. We are giving you all our energies to increase your power so you can counterattack Yamoshi. Remember, Goku, a great power implies a great responsibility. Courage, Goku! Please, don't give up! The very angry Saiyan would raise his power even more, making the whole planet tremble along with the multiverse. Goku would not stop unleashing all his divine ki. I will be the savior of the multiverse! Goku would have achieved a new phase never seen before of the perfect Ultra Instinct. Being Goku who managed to evolve this perfect Ultra Instinct, his hair would be much longer as if it were Phase 3 of the Super Saiyan. His divine key that surrounded him would be able to disintegrate anything that approaches him, and his power would be unmatched. What the hell is going on? How is it possible that you have more power? I told you, clearly, I will not give up and I will keep fighting until the end. I don't care what you say. My power is far superior to yours. I don't care about your power. We already know that. Besides, there is something that you don't have, and that is feeling. You have caused so much damage and problems to this multiverse. You have eliminated almost all the gods of destruction along with their angels. The time has come for you to pay for your sins. I will never forgive you. Goku, very furious, would raise all his monster charging with his best attack. This can't be happening! Thus being totally pulverized, causing a strong explosion in the place. I see Goku has managed to reach a new form of Ultra Instinct! The Saiyan falls to the ground unconscious. Goku, are you alright? Please, answer me! Kefla would ask, scared and worried. Don't worry, he's fine. He just needs to rest, since he released a lot of power. Sometime later, Goku woke up in the palace of the king of everything, Zeno-sama. Wow, I managed to wake up, and I managed to defeat Yamoshi. We finally finished with that bastard after all the problems he has caused us. At that moment, Kefla would have entered the room. Hey Goku, how are you feeling? Better? Yeah, and thank you very much for helping me. You're amazing, Kefla. Hey, no, hey, don't make a big deal, Goku. It was you who saved us all. You are the strongest being in this multiverse, Goku. Kefla would say, blushing. By the way, Goku, I want to tell you that both Kale and Kalifla felt something for you. Something that I, being a fusion, also feel something for you. I know, Kefla. Although, I prefer you to be like this because you look much prettier together. Besides, I would feel uncomfortable being with two girls at the same time, so it's better that you're fused. <laughs> Kefla would kiss Goku out of emotion, to which Goku would reciprocate the kiss. I love you, Goku. I will never let you go. Mr. Goku, I wanted to thank you for finishing with that wretch Yamoshi, and you too, Kefla. If you had not evolved the perfect Ultra Instinct with that divine phase that you managed to acquire, the multiverse would be lost right now. Mr. Daishinkin, we have to revive the Gods of Destruction along with their angels, and especially Xenosama. I guess it is possible with the Super Dragon Balls? Yes, Sir Goku. With the help of the Super Dragon Balls, that wish will be possible, and both the Gods and Angels and the King of All will return to life, and soon the multiverse will be back in order and peace will reign. Without thinking, at that very moment, Goku and company would go for the Super Dragon Balls, summoning Zarama, who would manifest himself. Daishinken, instead of making the wish, would say, Mr. Goku, since you are the savior of the multiverse, you have the right to be the one to make the wish. Uh, me? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Zarama, 
bring to life all the gods of destruction of all the universes and their respective angels, except for Universe 6, whose god and angel were not exterminated, and also bring back to life the king of all, Zenosama. Zorama, in the blink of an eye, would revive absolutely all the gods and angels and also Zenosama, who would be in his palace. In the blink of an eye, Goku and our friends would find themselves in Zenosama's palace. Zenosama quickly approaches Goku and gives him a big hug. Goku, I wanted to thank you for killing that wretched Yamoshi, and also for resurrecting all the gods of destruction, angels, and me with the Super Dragon Balls. You're welcome, my lord. I will always fight for the peace of the multiverse. <laughs> That's my duty. All the gods and angels would show great respect to the Saiyan by bowing. I also want to thank the great priest in Sinsama, since you trained me since I was a child. And thanks to that, I have become a very powerful being. Be happy, Son Goku. Remember that you have been like a son to us. At that time, six gods and six angels manifested in Zenosama's palace, being the six universes that were erased by Zenosama thousands of years ago. W what New gods and angels? What is this surprise, Daishinken? But if it is you... You see, they are the six universes that Xenosama erased from existence thousands of years ago. But apparently, when you made the wish that all the gods and angels of the multiverse came back to life, while referring in general, Zorama also revived these universes. And now what will we do with them, Xenosama? Will you erase them from existence again? Or will you give them another chance? I see. Now it all makes sense. I came up with an idea, but I don't know what decision Xenosama will make about it. Let's see, Son Goku. Tell me what idea you have in mind. I'm curious to know. That we make a tournament of power. But in this case, the participants would be the universes that have revived. The gods do not want to return to such a dangerous tournament. I love the idea, Son Goku. Yeah, because lately I've been very bored and I'd love to see another tournament. Beerus looks at Whis and tells him that he has a bad feeling. It's very difficult, since the returning gods aren't very respectful of the rules. At that moment, the six angels approach and refer to Daishinken as father. It is time to return to your duties. Suddenly, the gods' destroyers who had disappeared approach the other gods. All look at Xenosama surprised. They will be given a second chance, but on one condition. They have to get strong warriors in their universes to fight in a great tournament, so the winner will have a wish, but the losers will disappear again. The gods accept since they had no other choice. Now they can leave until they gather the warriors. In that case, they have to get ten powerful warriors. All the gods leave and Beerus arrives at his planet, but a powerful energy invades that place. I knew he would come looking for trouble. It had been a long time. Besides, I had already found out what happened in the last tournament, thanks to my angel. You better go back to Universe 14, since you have to be more respectful with the other universes. Yes, I will go, but first I want to meet the mortals who have divine powers. That's none of your business. But again, an energy invades his planet, and so do other energies. I didn't expect so many visitors. Whis's words would be because all the gods were in Universe 7. I hope that this time they control the gods of their universes. Otherwise, I myself will take care of putting them in their place. Whis would say, referring to his brothers. The angels apologize to Whis and tell him that their gods had been warned and that they only want to meet the mortal who is a friend of Xenosama and who can also use the Ultra Instinct. They haven't changed at all. They keep invading other universes without permission. One of the reasons they were destroyed. At that moment, Goku teleports to Vegeta's house. Hey Vegeta, can you sense the powers that are in the direction of the planet of Beerus? That's not possible, because only a god of destruction could transmit keys so strong that we can sense it from so far away. These key are different. They are the gods of destruction of the six universes that Xenosama erased. I was with Kefla, and we came to see what is happening. Come on! Goku would use the teleportation. Vegeta accepts, and both arrive to the place. I knew this would happen. The gods observe the Saiyans and ask, Is one of you the friend of Xenosama? It's time for you gods of destruction to leave this place. But suddenly, Beerus is paralyzed by a god-level technique and Whis gets angry. But the god who executed the technique is knocked out by an angel. Goku understands that there is a lot of attention and one of the gods asks who uses the Ultra Instinct. It's me. Is there a problem with that? 
The god says no, but that he invites him to the new tournament that Xenosama will carry out. And then the other gods will also invite Goku to join as a participant of their universes. The gods smile and leave. I knew that's what this was all about. Why were those gods transmitting a dangerous aura? There is something different in the auras of those gods. Those gods came back and had been inactive for a long time. Maybe that's why they have a distorted aura. All this has to do with the tournament, because if it wasn't for the tournament, other universes would have disappeared, and that second chance was given to these other universes. Because of this, you are now very famous, Goku, especially for having been raised by Zeno Sama and the relationship you have. I have to take this opportunity to see the level of the mortals of those universes, as I did in the previous tournament. You can be wrong with your actions, Son Goku, because in those universes, there are mortals with the same quality of using Divine Key. So they handle levels similar to those of their own gods. That is one of the reasons why Xeno-sama decided to erase these universes.